Hello participants, welcome back to integrated pest management uh, course. So, today let us uh, understand uh, what do you mean by agro ecosystem analysis that is uh, commonly called as AISA. As you know integrated pest management program they have been uh, evolved or they have been evolving to address the ill effects or deleterious effects of insecticides on environment. Under uh, our new or modern concept of integrated pest management, it is actually involving the agricultural ecosystem analysis by analyzing the agro ecosystem farmers they are going to take up the decisions on pest management programs. Before that let us see what is agro ecosystem analysis. So, this uh, agro ecosystem analysis it is an approach which can be gainfully employed by extension functionaries or farmers or both to analyze field situation with regard to pests, defenders, soil conditions, overall plant health and the influence of climatic factors on this either uh, defenders or offenders or plant health and their interrelationship for growing a healthy crop. This is what exactly the AISA means. Such analysis of field situation actually imparts the observation by the farmers that is he is going to observe the field continuously and after observation he is going to identify the problems which are associated with his crop and afterwards he is going to analyze the uh, observation what he has recorded for taking the appropriate. This is in a nutshell what exactly the AISA means. How this AISA should be carried out? In a simpler way, so this involves the continuous field observations. So, one has to observe continuously field for plant health at different stages and next the whether the plant has got inbuilt capacity to compensate any adverse effects or any attack of insect pest diseases in future that, that also he has to understand. Then what is the overall pest and defender population in his situation other than these he, he should understand or he should record the problems associated with rats, weeds and the soil condition. Soil condition means whether soil is wet or dry at a particular situation and overall what is the overall climatic factors which are influencing on the crop. Then the present condition of the crop situation that is uh, abiotic factors which are influ influencing on that day and uh, it needs even for decision making the past experience of the farmer. So, this is the first step and after observing he has to prepare a agro ecosystem analysis chart by taking the one drawing paper he has to write with uh, different uh, uh, color pencils one side uh, depicting the various insect pests which are attacking on a uh, 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 crop and other side he has to he has to write the different defenders which are present on his crop like uh, parasites, predators and overall the situation of the weather condition whether uh, the weather is uh, cloudy or sunny like that he has to indicate in this agro system analysis chart that is he is going to draw the overall uh, the picture of the uh, field in a drawing paper. After taking observation, so he has to take a suitable uh, uh, decision on uh, after discussing with uh, his uh, uh, fellow farmers if the farmers are uh, involved in the, that uh, uh, process. In other cases wherein uh, some extension functionaries also involved in uh, taking uh, these AISA programs in that case. So, extension functionaries has to sit together and uh, discuss and afterwards they have to take suitable decision on the overall cropping situation. Then afterwards they have to work out after taking a decision they have to work out, work out what is the overall uh, natural enemy population whether uh, the particular situation needs the any uh, control measures or not they have to 
take the suitable decisions. And uh, even uh, one can uh, uh, take uh, decisions based on this uh, uh, pest population dynamics by taking observations from pheromone traps, light traps and also they can uh, utilize uh, these uh, uh, sweep nets uh, and also water, pa uh, water pans uh, for uh, making observations on uh, insect pests and also these natural enemies. And uh, they have to work out overall the what is the economic threshold level of the particular pest. Then uh, AISA who are actually carrying out this AISA programs, they can uh, take suitable decisions. So, this uh, AISA can be carried out by either extension functionaries or group of farmers. So, here the group of farmers, they are actually trained uh, continuously and uh, they have been empowered to take up the independent decisions of their own field regarding the field situation or any control measures for particular pests. So, this is in a nutshell how the uh, AISA implementation can be done. So, first we have to plan the AISA, then we have to define the area where it has to be uh, carried out and you have to fix the goals or objectives for the AISA programs. Then afterwards you have to take some data on that uh, selected uh, agro ecosystem in that zone. Then in that zone you have to again uh, select the particular ecological zone. Then you have to describe that uh, uh, agro ecological zone. Then you have to take some field work observations based on uh, the earlier uh, data. Then along with this uh, field data, you have to gather some more data on uh, economical and uh, other uh, social issues of that uh, agro ecological zone. Then you have to identify the key issues which are actually required for immediate solution. Then you have to analyze all this data and you have to report and it has to be presented uh, uh, in a systematic manner then you have to take the AISA programs in that particular location. So, as you know these uh, AISA programs, it is a season long uh, uh, training program. So, it has to be uh, carried out throughout uh, one crop season and first uh, these uh, AISA programs has to be uh, carried out by either uh, extension functionaries and these extension functionaries in turn they are going to train the group of farmers. So, these uh, AISA programs it covers all the different developmental stages of all the crop and their related management practices of a particular zone. So, here the AISA program it is uh, learner centered and it is a participatory approach and it also depends on the, the experiential learning and it is in simpler way and uh, learning from farmer to farmer program. So, that is why it is a integral part of FFS program. Then how this uh, AISA based IPM training programs for farmers carried out. So, this is as you know it is a participatory approach and it is uh, practical oriented and we this practical oriented program has to be brought out by regular uh, meetings and you have to consider the learning through field experiment by the farmers and it is actually the problem oriented program and overall farmer he is going to learn our crop ecology of the uh, particular uh, eco zone. Then here ultimately he is going to understand overall the benefits of the uh, beneficial insects in controlling the insect pests. So, that is what uh, in integrated I mean uh, uh, agro ecosystem analysis based IPM training for farmers in FFS. So, this FFS is uh, actually uh, the open school or school without any walls. It is a formal education for these IPM programs. So, these IPM programs or FFS schools have been uh, launched throughout uh, uh, India in uh, different locations on different uh, crops, especially paddy, cotton, soybean and other crops. Thank you.